And joining me now for more on the shutdown, Politico reporter Lewis Nelson. So, Lewis, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and, and Senator uh, Chuck Schumer will deliver this joint response to the president's address. What are you expecting to hear from them, and who exactly is their target audience? Well, I think their audience is probably the same audience that the president is trying to reach tonight. Uh, there are these two dueling visions of this shutdown. Uh, Donald Trump is going to make his pitch tonight uh, that the government shutdown is uh, the only response uh, to a humanitarian uh, and national security crisis, uh, that the border wall is essential and it's worth shutting the government down over. Uh, and Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer are going to say the Democrats are here. They're ready to uh, reopen wide swaths of the government uh, and that, you know, the transportation department, the interior department, national parks, all these things don't need to be closed, uh, don't need to be shut down. People can, can still get their paychecks uh, while these negotiations are going on. Uh, and so uh, that's what I would expect to hear from uh, Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi, uh, although I expect that they'll probably be, uh, you know, at least a little bit nimble uh, in their response uh, based on what the president says. You know, Lewis, during the 2018 midterm, the president made the election all about the caravan. Uh, Democrats gained 40 seats in the House. As of November, 59 percent of Americans opposed building that wall. Is that sort of what's embodying Democrats right now on their immigration policy at this moment? Uh, I think to some extent, yeah. I mean, I, the popular support is certainly behind them. Uh, the you know voters in the U.S. did not uh, send this new Democratic majority to Congress to build President Donald Trump's uh, border wall. Uh, that's not. That's just not what they're there for, and that's not what. Uh, that's not the mood that the House majority. Uh, with Democrats uh, is, is in. They're, they're not there to cut deals on the border wall with the president and, and bail out the president, so to speak, uh, on his signature campaign issue uh, that he's already sort of halfway not keeping his promise on because he's asking taxpayers to pay for it uh, instead of the Mexican government like he promised all through 2016. Senator Kamala Harris said this morning that this was an emergency the president created. I want to play for you what she had to say and, and when she was asked if they were able to stop him from declaring one. You know, I think that th there's no question that we will litigate and there will be litigation. These are moments in our country where the beauty of the design of our democracy is being tested. And if you think about our democracy or the republic as being a tabletop standing on four legs, there are three independent co-equal branches of government and a free and independent press. And so what is happening over and over again in the last two years is those other branches of government and the, and the courts and the press will put the checks and balances on the outrageous conduct of this administration. You know, she says that it could be stopped in the courts. Have Republicans had any concern over this executive overreach on immigration and at the border? Have you heard anything on that? Well, I think it's an open question whether it's going to be considered executive overreach or not. Uh, Senator Harris uh, made the point that a lot of Democrats have made in response to the president threatening to uh, invoke a, a national emergency on this and, and use uh, military funding to build the border wall, uh, which is basically that, you know, this is going to be uh, litigated at every level and challenged at every level. Uh, I think that sort of a plan also, uh, or that a step like that by the president to, to declare a national emergency uh, would also uh, likely signal uh, at least to, to people negotiating on Capitol Hill that the president is pretty comfortable uh, with uh, the shutdown continuing on for the foreseeable future. Uh, cutting a deal or, or declaring a national emergency rather uh, would seem sort of uh, to be the opposite of you know putting your putting your negotiation hat on uh, and so I think it would uh, certainly dissuade Democrats from uh, any deal they might be considering making uh, if the president were to declare an emergency like he's threatened to do. Speaking of deals, Lewis, you know there's hundreds of thousands of federal workers that are really starting to feel the impact of the shutdown collectively. They're losing more than 1.4 billion dollars a week. If the president does declare a national emergency. And let's say that's blocked, or if Democrats continue to push back on his funding demands, what happens then at that point? You know, it's not especially uh, clear at this point uh, what, what an end point might be, what would happen if the president were to declare a national emergency. It's a very open question uh, legally whether he can do that uh, for the border wall. He would have to. Uh, you know, go to go to court, and uh, not him. The, the Justice Department, his administration, would have to go to court uh, and argue that uh, the that there is a crisis at the border, uh, and that you know they'd have to prove that. Uh, the Trump administration has had a hard time uh, keeping their facts straight, just in dealing with reporters uh, and deal, you know, in their sort of public messaging. Uh, dealing doing it in the courts would be a whole different uh, issue. 
Uh, and, you know, like I said, there, there's just still not a, a terribly clear uh, ending in sight for this yet. Uh, you know, things can change really rapidly, especially with the Trump White House. Um, but at the moment, uh, you know, we'll have to see what happens tonight in terms of, uh, you know, resetting or, or potentially any uh, light at the end of the tunnel. So true. Things can certainly change on a dime. Lewis Nelson, I want to thank you very much for joining us from Politico. Thank you.